we are going to explore a text on creation by doing some creating of our own. Thank you. Thank you, sweetie bud. Just drop it on in there. there I hope it's not too traumatic to have you, you put your good creations in a garbage can. Thank you. Sorry. We'll go into therapy later. Okay. But for now, we are going Thanks. to see what comes from it. Thank you. Thank you, Anna. This is a text with a rhythm to it. Maybe you caught it. And God said, and it was so. And it was good. This is not some sort of science book account of how everything came into being. This is someone riffing on a groove, and it was good. Sometimes we live in a world where we believe the lie that it is garbage, but the truth is, it is good. How many of you have been to the state of Ohio? Anyone? Ohio. Right in the center of the heartland. Thank you. Thank you. Yes. Ohio. The highest point in the state of Ohio is in the city of Bellefontaine. I know this because my college roommate was from Bellefontaine. Now, the highest point, according to the official records in Bellefontaine, is Campbell Park. It's 1,500, 500, 15,500 feet tall above sea level. Campbell Park. That's the official Google it, Wikipedia record. But the residents of Bellefontaine know the truth. The highest point is actually Rumpke Landfill. There's this garbage pit, which they have to occasionally trim down the top of to make sure it's lower than the official highest point. We live in a world where sometimes the piles of garbage seem like they are insurmountable and everywhere. We live in a world where sometimes we walk around and it seems like everything is just broken and fallen apart. But this text reminds us that we live in a world where it is good. Now this word good, it's the Hebrew word tov. Let me hear you say tov. Tov, excellent. Simple one, T-O-V, nice and easy to say and spell and everything. The word tov, when we think of good, we often contrast it with good and bad, which is a very fitting way to talk about it, or in the example I'm giving you, good and garbage. But the word tov, in this repetition of it is good, it is tov, it's a word that really speaks to its form and its function. It's saying this thing is useful. This thing is good. It's good for something. Sometimes we live in a world where we think the created world around us is good for nothing. Why should I recycle? What does it matter if we chop down an infinite number of trees? I just can't wait to, you know, get on some alien spaceship called heaven, right? No. This world is good. It's tov. It's beautiful. It's useful. It's good for something. Now, Genesis chapter 1 is the first chapter in the Christian scriptures. But I'm convinced that sometimes we don't start reading the story from there. Where you start reading a story will drastically change the way you experience the story. Sometimes, just sometimes, we end up reading the entire story of the Bible, and we accidentally start at Genesis 3. Genesis 3, the story where everything falls apart. This goodness is removed and brokenness creeps in. When you start the story with a broken world, you might miss out on the fact that this world is called good in the very first chapter. When you look around this world, Do you just see Rumpke Landfill, the highest point in Ohio, a trash heap, garbage? Or can you open your eyes in such a way that you can look around and see a world that is good? Maybe even so that you can look around and see that it's all good. It's all good. It's all good. I want to introduce a fancy word, hermeneutic. How many of you know what that means? Hermeneutic? 
Beckett, yell at it what it means. Say it out loud and I'll repeat it. Exactly. Hermeneutic is interpretation. Um, a god, a, a one of those Greek gods or Roman gods, Roman somebody, uh, Hermes was the god that was the messenger. So hermeneutic is the way the message comes. Now what happens when the message comes through a filter that we are garbage or the world is garbage, pretty soon we think we are garbage. I had a congregate here that I used to counsel named Kevin. And Kevin was wonderful. He was an artist. He was a musician. He was, Kevin was fine. <laughs> Kevin, was, Kevin was a lovely chocolate brown specimen of a gay man. Gorgeous. And he loved Middle Church. He loved the music. He loved the preaching. And he would tell me whenever we got in my office, it really, you know, I really love it. But the truth of the matter is I know I'm going to hell because God doesn't like gay. Can you imagine? At church every Sunday, at church every Sunday, faithful, living, trying to love God, trying to live a good life, but hermeneutic, I'm garbage. Hermeneutic, I'm less than. Hermeneutic, God created me and created junk. Hermeneutic, what the world says about me must be true. I knew a girl named Tiffany back in my church in Trenton, a wonderful mom, three kids, a crack addict, a crack head with crack babies. I don't know where she got this hermeneutic, but she would come to my office for counseling and she would say, if you leave Imani, if the church burns down, I know where my God is. And that's what I came to get, and I don't need you to get it. A, a, a hermeneutic that the structure, that the people, that the person of the pastor wasn't what she needed in order to access the love that she knew she had. Where did that come from? What we look at, the way we envision things, shapes our um, worldview, shapes our theology. The scripture the importance of the scripture isn't about the number of days in which God created the world. <laughs> okay, that's a whole nother sermon for another time, boom, boom. How, whether, how long were those days? You know, that, that's not what this is about. It's a wonderful, wonderful myth which, in which is embedded truth. And the truth that's embedded is that we who are human beings are created in the image of God male and female in the image of God, in the pattern of God, in the likeness of God, to be with God, co-creators of a good and kind world. Um, lots of people get stuck on this words about uh, subdue and have dominion. The way, the real interpretation of those words in Hebrew isn't about dominion, it's about um, tending, it's about caring. We who are created in the image of God are to be ready like God, as God, for all of the animal kingdom, for all of the earth that does not know God, meaning for other people and meaning for the created order. We are to mirror God in our relationships. We're to mirror God by the, we take, the way we take care of one another. We are to reflect the goodness of God by the way we care about our planet. We are to mirror God by the way we care for, co-create, nurture, and be with one another. Oh, if our hermeneutic is that we are good, then we can be good to other people. It's all good. Jim. It's all good. This God who makes a world that is good, this God who makes all of us who are good, invites us to add a brushstroke. This mosaic is not finished because we're just getting started. When you look around the world, it's a mosaic that's not finished. God is just getting started. We are God's artwork. This whole world is a divine art gallery and you are both a piece of art and artist. What does it mean for you to pick up a paintbrush and add a brush stroke? What does it mean for you to grab the tools and sculpt away? Michelangelo once said that the task of the sculptor is to see 
the sculpture that's already inside the block of art. You just got to take away the pieces that don't belong. We have a world that is inherently good. Yeah, there is some things that happen in the world. We are people who are implicitly good. Yeah, we mess up sometimes. But we are called to join God and the people of God to put our fingerprints on this thing. Because it's all good. Sometimes we believe the lie that this world is garbage. May we be people who have eyes to see that it's all good. Sometimes we believe the lie that we are garbage. May we have a heart that feels the beat of a good God as close as your very breath. The mosaic is not finished. It needs you. Joining with a God who says, I will always love you because it's all good. We have to, we simply must believe that a very good God created us in God's image, each of us, male and female, and however else we perform our gender, each of us created in the image of God, loved, sheltered, shaped, formed, protected. By a good and loving God, there's nothing we can do. There's no place we can go. There's no mistake we can make. There's no sin. There's no brokenness. There's no falling away from God's love. Because God will always, always love the goodness that we are. Go ahead and give me that C, girl. Mm -hmm. Yes, I can just say, this is God singing to you, a blessing for you this day. You are loved. You are mine. That's final, and it's for all time. And I will always love you. I will always love you. good and gracious God loves you. So I hope life treats you fine. And I hope you get what you've dreamed of. I wish you joy and happiness. But above all, Love you. 